OK, eight o'clock strikes again. And a very good evening to uh, everybody who may be watching the net this evening. Uh, thanks to all those who have already volunteered for the list. Uh, we've got watchers tonight that I know of. David, G6GZH. Hi, David. Um, Jim, G7NTG. Hope you're uh, keeping well. And, of course, Tim, MW0RUD. Um, again, I've left it, I think, a bit late here, so hopefully it'll all go well. But um, Mrs. FKK is out again, so I've had to cook my own dinner and... Um, uh, and then I forgot about washing up and feeding the cat and all that sort of thing. Ah, uh, Wolfgang's on as well, DL1BJV. Good evening, uh, Wolfgang. Hope all's well with you over there. Um, the list is up on the chat. Uh, the first, on, first to go is Martin, G8KOE, uh, followed by Colin, who's apparently just on for one over this evening. I don't know if you're off to work this evening, Colin, but that's G4KLB. Peter, GW7BZY, and then the list is... Uh, as shown on the uh, on the chat, we're hoping for a lack of gremlins uh, down at your end, uh, um, James, G zero DQH. So hopefully that'll all go well. Oh, Ashley's on as well. Good evening, Ashley. G E eight DPH. I, I haven't bothered using the G E uh, prefix uh, yet, Ashley, but uh, I remember using it. I think in 1977 for some jubilee or something. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, a couple of uh, notices here. Um, there's an activity weekend this weekend, six, uh, 7th and 8th of December. Uh, all bands. So uh, I might uh, dig out the two metre beam. Um, you hadn't spotted the plug had pulled out. Ah, OK. Well, that's what gremlins do, uh, James. They pull things out without you noticing. Uh, there's also the Dutch ATV contest uh, following weekend, 14th and 15th of December. That's 70 SEMs and up, so it might be, uh, if the conditions are good, might be worth pointing aerials uh, towards the Netherlands there. Um, it's been raining quite hard here, and um, I couldn't understand why the rain was affecting my receive signal so much, but it is. And the reason is that uh, my famous half cut in half bottle of upside down gutter keeping the rain off the front of the LNB or the potty uh, has been blown off in the wind so um, if anyone is thinking of running very low power tonight I probably won't see you and if you're running much over 3 over 4 FEC or under 3 over 4 SEC I probably won't see you either so I'm running 1 over 2 Right, uh, old John, G7JTT is on as well. Evening, John. Nice to speak to you earlier today on the All-Star Link. Right, um, did I have any more notices here? No, I'm, I'm trying to um, determine the Christmas ladders and activity and contests over the Christmas period. I'm just waiting to hear back from our contest manager. It's probably up on a, a list somewhere, but I couldn't find it on the forum earlier, so I'm not sure if it's up there yet. Right, well, without further ado, round to you, Martin. I wonder how the experiments went with uh, Mario in San Diego and SQ. I'm sure you and Colin can fill us all in. So round to you, G8KOE and the BATC Thursday evening net, G4FKK standing by. Right, I put a bit more coals on the fire hopefully to uh, get some extra signals to you let's turn the sound down there so I don't uh, feed back um, I was only half watching and uh, I'll let Colin explain uh, the uh, ins and outs but uh, I have a feeling that uh, um, Mario hasn't uh, got something set up quite right but anyway what have I been up to today SRT uh, of course um, many many sort of planes around before I get on to that um, vmix um, if anybody's trying to use vmix with SRT let's go to the center screen I found this which um, 
I don't know that's big enough probably need to make it bigger so we say right hope you can read it the top line is what normally is the sort of thing you would, or the second line one I'm putting there, is what you normally put in and according to this in vmix you leave the SRT K line start off and just put the IP address which they've got as one two three four and then the channel etc 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 that's it the important bit but I know um, uh, Peter who's on uh, and not next but the one after GW7 VZY is using um, um, Vmix so you might explain it a little bit more but I found that bit of information and it seems to work so that's why I put that up first because um, I don't use Vmix so I can't give a lot of help to others but uh, that was in their knowledge base so if we get rid of that come over to this one and um, we'll run through pictures that I have been receiving um, that was sort of a start of um, a happy um, that wasn't today that was the other day we managed to get some pictures through um, that's my sort of receipts I think and that's uh, I think the first one of the first ones I got from FKK uh, Martin um, that's just uh, taking a picture of my little monitor that's over to the right here um, and where's my little arrow gone oh, I can't seem to move on that's I'm going the wrong way that's obviously why that was uh, it's all going out of sequence for me now let's start again because I want to uh, um, get things in some sort of order um, right let's get back to FKK um, that was a two way a contact that uh, we had a two way I say it's an out and an in but um those uh, are the sort of pictures I can get from him. Um, the one I put up actually on the um, forum was one that I moved, and it's the tail was, it was all out of focus, but uh, it wasn't when I um, did it. Um, that was today with John. Um, we managed to get uh, uh, to, well, we had quite a long uh, contact uh, via uh, SRT with some. Uh, Pretty good results, I must admit. Um, I think uh, John was uh, quite happy. He, he even smiled once, but I didn't manage to catch the the smile. But uh, and then uh, later on, now I've obviously moved with the camera there, but um, managed to get uh, Peter GW7 busy. Why he uh, connected to me? Um, that's using VMix, which. Um, was the first time that he'd uh, connected um, and that uh, was a two way we were sort of so I was streaming to him um, and uh, that was his pictures coming back that he was sending back we were sending the whole lot back but um, that was what he was receiving me um, and the latency was very very good um, it was less than a second that we had um, quite uh, quite impressive shall we say um, and uh, I've now got um, two receivers on the go uh, so I can receive two uh, streams coming in um, the only thing that would be nice would be to have to uh, multi-stream out to uh, many people but I uh, don't have that technology at the moment um, whether I can do that or whether it's something that needs to be done in the cloud I don't know. I don't know enough about it at the moment, but um, I'm more and more impressed with SRT as one goes on. The player um, works and works very well. Uh, now we've found that it's got a um, an LED output as such, or a PIO GPIO put pin that goes high when there's a signal there, makes it very usable on uh, repeaters, etc. Um, but um, yeah, the quality that um, Peter and myself were this afternoon um, was really really good um, apart from that uh, All Star um, is uh, I don't think I've, I've, am I connected to it at all so I can show what the I don't know how many people we've got connected at the moment um, I'm very unprepared really but, uh, 
uh, 16 connected at the moment. Um, so uh, let's go to the center screen. Uh, probably not, uh, probably not going to uh, see it very well, but uh, we can make it a little bit bigger. But uh, maybe one more. Maybe that's just too much, but that's who's connected at the moment. And that, I've got to say, is working exceptionally well. And I think it's proved um, very useful. Um, we've had uh, during the net, uh, sort of little nets and things during the week when uh, projects have been going, like um, uh, the SRT, um, when Peter and I were uh, uh, communicating, and John, JTT and myself also, um, invalid. Um, now, from in here, I have... Uh, that which is um, how I was getting Peter earlier. That's looking at my um, player, um, which uh, is uh, a, a few people have got uh, the code. I've only kept it down to a minimum, so it's uh, for testing purposes. But um, anybody that wants to uh, do tests, etc., if they contact me, then I'm uh, quite happy to um, do it. Ah, oh. now um, my second. Uh, Stream has uh, just uh, come to life. So, oh, and, uh, in fact, both streams have come to life. Now, it's, uh, um, I need to change uh, that one over. Let's push the button up here. It says, right. Oh, we, that one's gone out. Oh, FKK's come on. There you go. He's come on my, uh, I call it my number one, uh, side of things oh that's uh okay, okay. Oh, terrible pictures I, I need to, to turn this particular camera down it uh whites out a bit but uh those pictures are good that's the uh pie down there with the little white light on the top which has been received and uh oh, he's gone over to his shawarm shop um just to prove that <laughs> and the other one is my other one which was red earlier but um it doesn't seem to be any signals now, but um, anyway, I could send to it myself, I suppose, but I'm not going to. Um, but that's, that's what I've been playing with, and um, on that note, I think I'm going to quit whilst I'm ahead, because last time I tried to uh, to do anything, um, like live streaming, it didn't work out. But uh, the little um, players on a Raspberry Pi 3, which is all they are, just download the image, put it in, and away you go. Um, and uh, you can either use OBS easily or um, vMix. Right, that was a long waffle. Um, now, talking of long waffles, now Colin said he's going to be very, he's going to do a very short one this evening. Um, it's, no, <laughs> I don't think that's possible. Right, get ready, Colin. Um, let's uh, put a test card over to you from GHKV. G8KOE, G4KLB. Okay then, thank you very much. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Um, yes, as was mentioned earlier, we've been doing some tests with Mario and we're, we're, we're nearly there. We're halfway there at the minute because um, at this very juncture, um, if we go to shaky cam, then indeed there is Mario. Um, which is working extremely well indeed so we're halfway there i can receive mario very very easily there you go that's it <laughs> and the latency is extremely good um i i had um, mario's audio hello mario <laughs> i had mario's audio on um all star and and on here at the same time and there was virtually nothing in it um, very good indeed. Very good indeed. So there we are. So there's Mario on the uh, Cure 100 net um, officially. So that's very good. I don't know if you've been on it before. You probably have. But um, there we go. So there we are from Oceanside. 
<laughs> that's that's great. That is, yeah, got you up on uh, kill one hundred. So that's that's brilliant, Mario. Excellent. But it's ex it's extremely good um, quality, I have to say. So yeah, so that's all. That's um, that's really good. Um, yeah, well, and I'm, what I'm using for for that for receiving that is um, got that monitor monitor there on HDMI. Um, there we are on that. And all I'm really all I'm using is this is this um, Raspberry Pi 3B plus um, which I had left over was going to be something else um, and and that's just connected to the HDMI and the network and th and that's that's all there is to it really <laughs> to receive that the limitation of of the Pi is it uh, and this software is it does H.264 it doesn't do H.265 H.265 is available on SRT so that'd be interesting but multi-streaming would be something that would be required and i'm assuming that you would need some um server of some description um f for that to to occur i should imagine but uh, i say i don't know much about it really so there we are oh and, and also i can demonstrate my 3d printer <laughs> we um i did this case because it was just lying here i'm about to be shorted out so i thought i'll just put some plastic around it so um but it is also an opportunity to um, have a little experiment with the 3D printer because that was all printed in one go with all the different colours. So, Hello, Kitty one, uh, Kitty. oh, oh, okay. I'll have to show you that then. Yes, there is one. My my first one before I got any red was <laughs> was this one here. That was my first um, attempt um, with a slightly different surface finish as well on there. And um, it was suggested that it looks a bit like a Hello Kitty <laughs> color, s color scheme. Um, my son said that looks a bit girly. <laughs> and um, so as a consequence, um, he actually um, he actually did that one for me. And then al and also tried some um, a different s surface finish to, to simulate sort of a fiber optic type of, uh, no, um, carbon fiber finish i can't quite get it to shine in the light properly at the minute but uh, but it does <laughs> so uh, but yes that was a little bit um yeah so his suggestion was that what i do with this is um have a uh, <laughs> have an sq competition and try and send it as far away as possible so <laughs> that was his and he also did um he also did this as a as a another experiment um, and you you can uh, you can see the fiber optic um oh, sorry that's not fiber carbon fiber finish or the mock carbon fiber finish um on on there now as well which is just a surface on the bed that's all um so uh, yes there it is this is done in some some um um it's a, it's um I forget what it is now but. Uh, but um, it's a sort of a shiny sort of material, so so <laughs> very good. It's, it's still um, still PLA, but it's uh, there we are. I'm not sure the choice of yellow was suitable, but but it was a, it was a bit of an experiment. So there we are. That's that. That's that one. But um, that was mine, which I'm sort of it's growing on me a little bit. But uh, <laughs> but um, the the red is um, the red is is somewhat better, and I think uh, yeah. Uh, we've got sort of two colours on there as well, just because you can. That's that's all. But um, yeah. But uh, so that's that side of things. And then for for sending, I um I've got another version of OBS on here, and um, we haven't quite. I am I'm not sure quite quite why that isn't working. Um, what's this? Oh, this that that's that camera there, is it? Okay. <laughs> a bit of a wide shot of the shack. <laughs> Looks a bit of a mess there, doesn't it? Really, but. Uh, bit of a wide shot that's used in this um this camera up here um, which is quite good um for that sort of thing it's pretty good for a wide shot makes me look a bit fat that's the only trouble <laughs> don't normally have that sort of shot on here but, uh, but there we go um right okay so that's um that's where we're at with this experiment so uh there's mario still being received um yeah it's it's very good actually it's very good so there's definitely potential uh, definitely potential there um i can see that um because we you know you we the 
the latency on this is quite good. Um, it was suggested that H.265 may have a greater latency. I'm not sure if that's true or not, but it should it would take a little bit less bandwidth, I would assume. Um, but um, anyway, we should we shall see. We'll, we'll experiment with all of that. But um, so yeah, ideal usage for um, a Pi 3B plus or similar. Um, I think you can. I think the only one you can't use is the original Raspberry Pi. I'm going to call it a Raspberry Pi One. It's there, and it was never called that, but um, and uh, and the software is free. Um, you can actually transmit on it, but only in audio. Um, so, uh, so there we are with that particular software. Anyway, there we are. Let's um, let's minimise that, and we'll get back to where we were. Right. Okay. That's probably enough from from me for the duration, actually. <laughs> So yeah, I've only got one go because it's um, um, it's a it's a busy week at work this week, a very busy week at work. Um, oh, um, I've got to do two extra nights this week, which I'm not over enthused about. I must confess, but <laughs> but uh, never mind. At least I'm getting my contribution out the way early in the month, um, so not too bad really. Uh, right, okay then. So, I actually haven't actually even looked as to who I'm passing it to now. Uh, so, let's have a look. Um, okay, where is the list? Um, I usually use this monitor, that monitor for this. But I'm having to s struggle with it. Oh, there we go, I got it now. There we go. Ah, it's over to, um, over to Wales. GW7BZY to take it. Um, I shan't come back again, but I'll watch as long as I can before I have to scoot off to work. G4KLB. Okay, then. Okay, okay. GW7B Z1, Z1. 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 Yankee. Yeah, um, yeah, all very good. I just didn't have any places. Oh, without an echo. Without an echo. Ah, there we go. I'm just having a crisis here. That's probably why I mislaid. My my end's frozen again. I don't know whether I'm receiving. The internet seems to be going off. Um, and I tracked it down to for some reason that the computer turned off the Wi-Fi. Not the Wi-Fi. The Wi-Fi and the and the local area network. So um, that was quite interesting. And of course, when you you don't have Wi-Fi or local area network, um, the receiver can't re tune. So um, that was a bit of a problem. There we go. Um, so we just get on now, turn the sound down, everything should be good. Um, excellent, how's my picture? Fantastic. Um, yeah, I've been playing us with Martin there with the um, stream, um, the, the SRT, which I, I think I did um, on the Worldwide Net with, um, I bought um, Gary Immerman, I can't say his surname. <laughs> Not without lots of abs. Um, and that worked really well. I think the the, the the salient points, as far as see, as far as um, Raspberry Pi goes, Raspberry Pi can't do H.265, um, so that's a little bit of a downer. But of course, vMix can. Uh, vMix can import directly as a as a an input, um, like a mixer desk, um, where it, you know you have a little corresponding f picture live frame. Um, and transmit H.265. I think OBS can do it as well. I think I don't know how you you import OB, um, H2, SRT on on OBS. I'm sure it's a lot more complicated and less elegant. Um, as everything it does. Um, not that I'm a biased person. I guess you know, please don't misunderstand. Um, otherwise, all is good. Um, of course, I, the, 
I've had to open a port. I think everybody's got that, that you have to open a port. I don't believe if you have a, um, a meeting, there is another version. There's caller, sender, and um, something else. In that way, you can um, either side can initiate. Um, it waits until somebody comes on. I don't quite know how that one works. I haven't really played with that, but that might be interesting, I think. Um, with that one, you don't need a party needs to open a port, I think. I'm not too sure. Hair in the eye. Um, so that might be interesting to play with and more inter to get people who aren't um, able or willing. I'm sure most people around here can uh, you know, get into their router and deal with that, but um, it might be handy in, under some circumstances where you don't have access to the router. Um, what else? Not a lot, really. Um, that's what I've been doing. I've been playing with that, and I'm going to work. I haven't played me saxophone. Um, I can input. I've got. A, I, I have got my uh, um, player going. I don't know if anybody's on. No. No, no, it's, it's dead at the moment. But Martin works into that very easily. It, it's um, the, there is a, a technical a technicality where you need to ping if you're going to do it correctly. That is, I, mean, I think you can put an arbitrary um, number in the M delay, etc. Um, but it does usually mean that you want a larger ar arbitrary number, and that gives you a little bit more delay. But I think Martin and I we had it down to about 120 milliseconds. Um, that doesn't include the the encoding speed. Um, I don't think um, a hardware encoder is going to take any longer to do H.265 or significantly than H.264. Perhaps if you use a PC or an underpowered PC, you'd, you'd be, you'd probably have you know some delay. But um, you know, time to move on. H.265 is not too too arduous for most PCs, I imagine. Um, so uh, yeah, H.265 is a much better way of doing it for the same reasons we work it on um, on this satellite and of course my um receivers crashed again um i'm having a lot of trouble with open tuner it just crashes after a few minutes and um died so um, i don't know what's going on i don't know if i'm still in i'm sure i am i'm just going to turn the power up a little bit to make sure that we've got enough signal could just drop a little bit and um, with that i'm going to go this is gw somebody else stand by for another go um listen to um who am i going to give it to um X80. I had a car, ATX, um, with the easiest registration numbers to. Um, I can't remember. Um, CY. CY70. ATX it was. It was last car. Um, not this car, the last car. Um, so that was quite a handy registration to remember, wasn't it? When the guy says to you in the showroom, says, What registration would you like? And that was available. So anyway, regardless. Ramble. Um, this is Golf Whiskey 7, Bravo Zulu Yankee, handing it over to G8, GKQ from GW7BZY in sunny North Wales. GW7BZY, uh, G8, GKQ. I'll just uh, kill that. Uh, and I, uh, monitor in the shack so too much feedback good evening all um, very interesting discussions on uh, uh, SRT um, I think the uh, late there's a comment about latency on uh, 265 it all comes down to the encoder um, if you're using a PC it's quite likely that H265 will have more latency because uh, it takes longer to encode, but if you're using a hardware encoder, it just depends on the encoder. Um, I suppose the obvious question is, uh, could the ports down be uh, upgraded to do uh, either receive or transmit SRT? I must admit, it's something that hadn't, uh, hadn't occurred to me until tonight, um, but I will uh, take a look at it uh, in due course. Um, what have I been up to? Well, I finally uh, I got the spectrum analyzer off of the bench, um, and in the vain hope um, that uh, Ham TV from the ISS might come on sometime soon, I hard I uh, properly wired in my switching for that. 
um, the uh, ham TV receive setup is going to share the uh, coax with the QO100 receive setup. So uh, I now can, uh, by DC switching, which uh, goes along the same switching wire as does the PTT for the PA, uh, switch the uh, receive line over to the ham TV receiver rather than the QO100 LNB. And that's uh, all controlled from uh, the QO100 con- control box. So uh, that things have got a bit neater there around the shack. The reason the analyzer got off the bench is I got it to a reasonable stage. I can now look at uh, 24 gigs um, and do uh, see it with a span of anything from 2 gigs down to uh, 100 kilohertz. Um, and the same for any frequency down to about 10 megs. Um, but uh, the the analyzer is going to be uh, part of my test bed for uh, ports down 5. Uh, so uh, I'm now working on all the switching. So that the same box can in effect be a uh, ports down 5. And the current project is this little bit of Vero board here. Uh, I do find Vero boards the uh, quickest way to make things. Uh, that's got um, six BF-Y51s, which are driving a coax, uh, multi-way coax relay. Uh, four relays, which are driving another uh, very chunky multi-way coax relay. And lots of control circuitry and a big pick on there. I uh, haven't even thought about programming the pick yet, but i um, doing all the DC switching now. So that's the uh, the current project. The other thing that's um, engaging my mind is uh, CQTV. Deadline for uh, CQTV submissions uh, is a week this weekend. So um, if anybody has any articles for CQTV, I think it's looking a bit light at the moment. Please uh, get them to the editor or any member of the committee. Um, We could have a bumper Christmas issue. Um, I'm sure somebody could write about SRT. Not looking at anybody, Martin. Um, Right, that's it from me. Uh, Just one over this evening, but good to see so many people on. And uh, round to Gareth. Uh, Won't be uh, out on 24 gigs on Saturday, because I gather gather that's uh, cancelled. G4XAT and the group G8GKQ. Indeed. Thanks, Dave. G4XAT. Okay, that's looking all functional. Right. Uh, yes, it's a, it's a great shame. I mean, it's been long planned as a, a general fun. Let's go and use 24 gigs before somebody finds something else to do with it. Um, event. And um, it's well and truly blown and rained off. Which is a shame, because I was actually... Well, I am still heading to Bath on Saturday. I was going to um, arrive there a bit later, <clears throat> having stopped at the White Horse en route. Anyway, um, enough of that. Um, good stuff on the SRT. Um, fascinating. I mean, I think, given that whoever wrote the um, the software for encoding um, F1 EJP wasn't it for encoding H266 on the Pluto I mean I I guess he must be a software writer or something and does it in his spare time but to get that working I mean it just works and the quality and the bandwidth it's like well surely if that bolts onto OBS and uh, you then send that down the uh, good old internet it'll work even better anyway out of my league but you can but wonder uh, what you can do with software uh, speaking of which I got my all-star account validation this morning and then promptly wondered how on earth you get a node allocated uh, and what you should put on the Raspberry Pi card which is sitting here waiting uh, but that's not urgent. I've got the microphone uh, interface board, which is that. I've done the popular mod of sticking some very small enameled wire, 30SWG, under the chip, so you don't pull the leg off. 
and uh, I've got a nice little recommended microphone board and I've even got a nice desk mic to go with it and a Raspberry Pi 3B Plus that's lying around as you do okay um, I've also been working on a, a rotator project because uh, in the June contest I, I tried my lightweight rotator on my um, three beams on the mast and it did rotate it but it was really a bit too much for what is uh, mostly 3D printed plastic so I, I reached into my stock of things that will come in useful one day and I, I came up with this which is a, a rather beautiful Parvalux DC shunt wound motor 4 rpm at 240 volt and obviously pro rata uh, 1 rpm at 60 volt so I've added um, a drive socket which the mast will slot onto and a feedback potentiometer and, and then I thought well where can I get a higher voltage from so this is um, a cheap 7 amp supposedly uh, step up power supply that stopped at about 50 volts so uh, I changed the output capacitor to a 100 volt one and um, changed the feedback resistor chain to include a 100k pot and it'll now go from 50 volts up to 95 so that's going to be a speed control and uh, four-way relay board they're rather nice these you can select by um, jumpers uh, either active high or low and they're opto isolated so they're um, available on eBay etc and then to indicate the voltage sorry indicate the, the angle <laughs> of the uh, the rotator uh, I noticed Rob and indeed I did on my other one use a, a voltmeter and uh, I've got some of these tiny little things I think I bought a dozen of them and uh, they're not to 100 volts really rather good and they're like a pound each or something anyway I looked up the display for the uh, pinouts and since they're auto ranging like um, it'll display 2.46 volts eg uh, if you cut the decimal point pin uh, which is all multiplexed so it's only the one pin uh, you get a, a straight digit readout so if you feed it 2.46 volts it says 246 so uh, my uh, feedback pot will be fed 3.6 volts and some simple PIC software written in pickaxe will um, measure the target and uh, and set and switch the relays accordingly the uh, the shunt motor can be reversed by swapping the field windings which is what the relays are doing and of course a master on off so I don't have to listen to the switch mode power supply noise and that's about it I think um, oh and a 70 sems filter this is um, a copy of the W6 PQL design uh, redimensioned into uh, measurements for us i.e. English measurements so uh, I've acquired a sample of the uh, super duper uh, microwave PCB material it's quite strange stuff it's uh, nothing like as strong as FR4 but then it doesn't go up in smoke like FR4 so anyway some pictures uh, I've had reports that when I go to photos uh, the audio changes but looking at what I'm looking at on screen and I can't see any difference in in the readings but please tell me on the chat if the um, the audio does change okay so this is the uh, link belt in my Boxford lathe and it was getting a bit loose the green one and there isn't a jockey wheel or anything you, you actually have to take a link out so I did that and that's a link out and put it all back together and that's the filter uh, three pieces of the super duper um, RF PCB they're um, 
soldered on the back. It's double sided, so they're soldered on the back to a, an ordinary bit of FR4 as a ground plane. Uh, some silver plated or even silver wire, which I salvaged from a filter and rewound. Uh, the coils are in anti phase, in as much as their winding direction is one left, one right, one left, one right, which means you can mount them in a line. And uh, it's very nice, does a good job. And uh, finally, this is um, some salvaged LEDs that I showed probably a couple of years ago or more. Uh, it was a bedside light for my good lady, and she likes bright light. So um, these were salvaged from some chuck out bulbs. They're like 16 volts a strip. But as you can see, especially if I zoom in a bit, there's a bit of discolouring on some of them. And like a lot of these tiny little poorly cooled chip LEDs, um, they um, burn out or they become erratic with thermal shock. So I changed them like you do. And uh, they got changed to one of those from Rapid Electronics. Uh, it wasn't a lot of money, about £2.50 for, for uh, sorry, 400 milliamp and uh, nine and a half volts and they are very nice and bright so they're, they're fitted in the original reflector assembly which is rectangular by virtue of the leds okay thanks for the audio report everybody i guess it might have just been me speaking a bit enthusiastically um, about um, the pictures i showed when that happened okay um Nothing more for me this over, so round it comes to our Northern Ireland correspondent, GI4DOH. Round to you from G4XAT. Over. G4XAT with the BATC net. This is GI4DOH. Uh, good evening, all. Uh, just check in. Yep, there's the audio. It's <laughs> right. Sort of just uh, uh, took a li little bit longer than I expected. Uh, bum bum bum, who's on no sign of Don or Robert uh, tonight on the, the streamer or the uh, on the the main thing. So good evening, Paddy and Cabin. If you're listening, I, I hope you're uh, you're well. So uh, yeah, just I didn't adjust my camera too well before I started. Just get down a bit. Uh, yeah, I missed last week because it was the 80 metre club championship CW and uh, that took priority. <laughs> Got to keep my hand in with uh, these things, use it or uh, or lose it. Uh, yes, Gareth, uh, I'm missing. <laughs> you haven't just done one or two things, but a whole clatter of things and a lot of creativity in, uh, in that. It's, uh, it's always fascinating to, to see what you've been up to. I've, I've just been fussing about, not, not doing a lot. Uh, I run the risk of getting things terribly wrong here. Uh, this is a little FPGA board and uh, an ADC board that plugs into it. Uh, it was a little project that somebody set up and somebody's just got a, a batch of uh, ADC boards made and I'm trying that out. That uh, should work with CW skimmer and RTTY skimmer I'm already running one of those it it can uh, it can scan uh, it spans or strip uh, strip off uh, CW and RTTY stations and it bands simultaneously I've already got one but the, this is slightly different the ADC board should go up to six uh, six meters it should also give me the opportunity to do comparisons between different antennas to uh, work out uh, the most efficient antennas uh, for receive only. So that's, uh, I only got that board uh, this morning. <laughs> it's giving me a bit of grief at the moment. I, I can't change the, the host name. Uh, it uses the, the Alpine sort of operating system. And when I type host name, it, it tells me what uh, what I wanted to be, but that's not what I get when I when I run things like advanced IP scanner and the the rest. It 
it's using the uh, the same uh, the same host name as my other boards, except that then sticks hyphen two after it. So uh, I got to dig into uh, into that. Uh, I spent a lot of time trolling through files and the rest, but I know nothing about these things. I'm sure they. Uh, it's finding the right person to, uh, to ask the question. I'll uh, I'll uh, get there somewhere. I, I don't really understand how. You know, they. I thought I knew where it where it should be in the, the operating system, and that is correct at the moment. But it's that's not what it's telling me when I when I see it with the various IT tools. Uh, so apart from that, that's that's taken up a fair bit of today. And missing about uh, because the moon is is getting up to a usable thing. Uh, trying to get my 13 centimeter uh, set up on the the go. I, I had a bit of trouble with the the front end of the transverter on my uh, two meter transverter on my K3 that I use with that. Uh, I replaced the device and that a few weeks ago. I'm just having got around to set it, uh, setting everything else up, but with uh, it's sort of time bound with the the height of the moon, so that'll uh, occupy things in the next uh, couple of days. Just getting that sorted out. It uh, it was a lovely morning. I did my usual three mile walk along the coast with a friend. Had a couple of coffees. And when we came out to do the three mile walk back again, it was absolutely pouring. It was bucketing down. It was absolutely drenched. So uh, everything got thrown in the, the washing machine and the, the rest. So it's, it's been heavy rain for the, the rest of the, the day and uh, not good for working on uh, EME uh, installations and the rest. Maybe tomorrow will be a better day. So uh, that's about it from me. Uh, the, the uh, this timeline, the biggest line to James now G0DQH with the BATC net. This is GI4DOH. Okay, can I just check the audio? Okay, can I just check the audio? Yeah, absolutely fine. Yeah, good evening everyone. Um, sorry about the problems last week, uh, but um, <laughs> um, one of the one of the leads had fallen out, and I hadn't realised. Uh, of course, I was late on coming up here, and normally I'll check, uh, I'll pre-test everything before I go on the air. But uh, last week, um, as I say, I was late. So I didn't do a pretest, so it's my own fault. Just a quick um, view around the shack. Uh, the shack is actually um, in the study or the third bedroom of the house, and I operate um, the PA remotely from here. That's the power when it gets there. That's it. And the other one is for the um, bias on the PA. So from here, it's push the button. It all starts up in the garage. Um, and hopefully, away we go. Um, if I can go to the... Pro camera. And that... This is there we go, and the cable are pulled out on one of the 2.4 gigahertz amplifiers there. So there's the Pluto, um, and the cable disappears down to the to the garage. And I'll show a couple of photos of that in a sec. And that's the rest of the shack. Okay. So this is the um, the dish um, in the garden. It's, and 
nice thick um, cable run into it from the TX from the PA. Um, this is a close up. These are quite old photos now, so they're uh, they're by no means um, the latest thing. And the LMB looking back towards the garage uh, where the PA is located. And the PA is there. The chassis was uh, out of a, um, a solar uh, inverter. And there are um, loads of cooling fins. In, so there are two fans driving the blowing air in and one sucking the air out, if you like, plus the big fan on top of the PA, which is a single FET. By the way, I um, don't think I've got anything else other than that. Um, so I'll, there's a lot of people on tonight, so I will um, keep this short. I won't be back a second time, by the way. Um, so uh, I'll, I'll say good night to everyone and uh, see you all next week. And uh, by the way, my daughter um, did this for me. Um, too much for me to do, but uh, she's a graphic designer, and I gave her the idea, and she came up with the with the world. So uh, that's about it from me. I'm located um, just north of Southampton in Channels Ford, and that's about halfway between Winchester and Southampton and Romsey in Valley Park, in Chandler's Ford. So very good evening to everyone. See you all next week from G0DQH and now Dropping Carrier. Okay, um, oh, am I, uh, I don't think I've got any sound. Oh, yes, I have, yeah, okay. Um, yeah, well, I, I, don't, I, I don't have a lot to say, so I'll only come on the once, uh, Martin. I'll watch to the end, of course, but uh, uh, all I've been doing, really, is mucking about with software again. I spent all day trying to get some software, an example uh, of a uh, HTTP server written in Go. And uh, <laughs> whoever wrote it, although he says he's got 10 years experience as a professional programmer, he doesn't even compile. Uh, so I don't know what's going on there. I've put, I've put an issue in for him, <laughs> let him sort it out. But otherwise I'll just move on and do something else. Um, the problem in this house is that uh, <clears throat> Peeler's on a diet. So, yeah, I, I, my greatest empathy with, empathise with uh, Martin, G-A-F-K-K, -K, having to cook his own dinner, because I had to do the same. And uh, so, I'm not very good at cooking. So, I cooked a, I mean, I say cooked, I made a bacon and cheese toasted sandwich, right? Much to Peela's disgust, and she says, oh, British. You British are all the same. No, just don't appreciate food. <laughs> the uh, food is very special to the Spanish. Uh, you know, they talk about it a lot. A lot. Uh, all I can do, though, tonight is... I can, I can make a few comments on what's been said during the net, uh, which may or may not be helpful. Um, Martin, G-A-K-O-E... Uh, I know, I know, when you put up the uh, put up the chart the, of who's logged in, I mean this this isn't directed at you, Martin. It's directed at ASL, I think. I noticed that it said I, I last time I connected was eight o'clock this morning. That is not true. <laughs> it was more like uh, lunchtime, I think. It certainly wasn't eight a.m. So I think that must be American times. 
And I don't know if there's a way of changing that because I haven't seen it anywhere, but otherwise the times are kind of a little bit meaningless. What's this comment? Many people have got their former aspect ratio wrong. It's set to four by three, it should be 16 by nine. Well, I don't know who many people is. Everybody looks okay to me. I suggest G A A D M Dave. I don't, maybe the problem's at your end. I don't know. Unless he's talking to someone that's not on the net, of course. Um, and then there's Colin. Um, oh, and, and, and by the way, uh, I, I, Martin, I, I've also been, well, you know this, don't you? I've been doing the SRT tests with you. And I must say that ADSL, though, is uh, ASL3 is working absolutely spectacularly well and 100% reliable. Uh, I haven't I needed to do anything with it. I mean, I did software upgrade it, but that was manual intervention. But it hasn't crashed, it hasn't done anything, and I just leave it on 24-7. It just works. It's very, very good. And, of course, I've been messing around with SRT, but I haven't completed the tests there. Uh, Colin, uh, G4KLB, you mentioned how, you know, the possibility of streaming it to, to the world. Well, I, d I did notice uh, a few weeks ago a YouTube video, because you know there's a lot of YouTubers stream. Well, it's the only way of doing it, really, isn't it? Uh, and, and they're very much into all this kind of stuff. Uh, and I watched a video, and a guy demonstrated in detail how he streams to multiple people using uh, NGX INX. And uh, I can't remember how he did it. But it looked really easy, actually. He had to just alter a couple of things, a configuration file, and boom, it went. Uh, so that that's definitely doable that way. There may be other ways. I don't know. And then uh, Dave is asking for CQ TV articles, and he's already made a big hint to somebody who's watching tonight and participating. Well, not only do we need... An idiot sheet on uh, SRT, which will be useful to everyone. But in the same article, this person who's on the net tonight could also publish his idiot sheet on ASL3 as well. Hint, hint. That'd be really good. And you've got it already written up, haven't you? So just send it. <laughs> Sorry, Martin. Oh. Okay, um, as I say, I'll just be on the ones tonight, so uh, where are we going? Oh, we, we are going back to the other Martin here now, G4FKK. Oh, I've just got a comment here. No, that's something else. I, I don't know what that is. I'll read that in a minute. Okay, uh, over to uh, the man in charge uh, from EA7KIR in Spain. Yeah, very good, uh, Michael, EA7KIR, and the BATC net. Oh, okay. That was Martin saying uh, he seems to have a problem. Well, this is most poor, uh, Martin. I was going to suggest... Um, oh, I was going to demonstrate a two-way um, SRT, but... Uh, Martin's just said his computer appears to have been clobbered. Now, this is quite interesting, Martin, because um, the other day my computer seemed to have been clobbered. Actually, it turned out to be um, a, um, an intermittent fault with the uh, Internet here. But it, caught, it wreaked havoc on my computer. So uh, maybe uh, Mike, Michael and I were discussing earlier how dangerous it is to have ports open to the Internet. So maybe, uh, maybe we're suffering from that, Martin. Anyway, let us know in the chat if you um, if if you uh, manage to uh, get going again. But in the meantime, I've knocked you off the list. I'll put the list up on the um, on the chat. There's only four of us left. That's um, Peter, Gareth, and Richard, and me. So uh, it's probably a good thing because. Uh, my sister's come back from some carol concert along with her sister. So um, 
I feel a bit unsociable sitting here uh, enjoying myself rather than going to listen to their tales. <laughs> so anyway, um, enough of that. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, Martin, if you are still watching, then um, yeah, it's been quite interesting, the, the SRT experiments. Uh, what I might do, I, I, Colin's probably gone, but uh, John might soon watch. I'll, um, and Peter. Oh, I, oh, yes, the green light's on. Oh, let's have a quick look. Hang on. Let's, um, well, I'll first of all go to uh, my funny old camera. So uh, there, there's my SRT receiver. I want one of Colin's rather, uh, what did you say, a bit girly. I thought that stuff would look quite good, uh, Colin. Um, yes, I, well, I'll, I'll do that now. If I, um, tell you what, before I put Martin on there, I'll um, do this. Well, there's two of us. Yeah, I've got a I've got a problem. Um, I can't seem to. Uh, my transmit side seems to have died on my control of it. Um, I don't know. It just um, had a computer lock up, and I can't control things now. Um, ah, I'm getting complained that I'm low enough. Am I? Perhaps I need to up the audio. Sorry about that. It. Uh, yeah, you get these complaints. <laughs> yeah, I, I forgot to turn my microphone on as well, so well, there you go. I'm an amateur. Yeah, Martin, I've got your audio now, looking very good. So th this is going to be a slightly so, yeah, uh, more I've latent C... I have lots of problems to send. ...duplex contact, because um, Martin's receiving me via, uh, via the satellite. Um, anyway, so yeah... The, the tests have been working very well. Um, I don't know if you want to say anything about your computer crashes, Martin. Go on, say something about your computer crash yeah, and then I'll carry on. Well, you, you could send me a picture, I think. Oh. Uh, yeah, I possibly could... Um, Oh, no, I can't be yes, because see. my, my um, <laughs> well, I could send you a ah, picture from no. my other. Uh, <laughs> and that's all right, don't worry about it. My other OBS. I know, it's all This right. could get very complicated. <laughs> no. Yeah, don't do it. Yeah, I don't know quite what's gone wrong. I've tried rebooting things as best I can. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So things uh, aren't, aren't at peace. Anyway, I'll, I'll disappear. Say bye to everybody. And I could do better. Yeah, thanks for, thanks for demoing that, uh, Martin. I thought it worked quite well, actually. I mean, it was getting even more complicated because I'd got Michael, um, Michael making comments on All Star. So, uh, whoa, three audios, four altogether. Um, Anyway, yeah, so it's been fun uh, playing about with uh, with SRT and uh, and All Star and all the rest of it. Uh, unfortunately, uh, as I say, uh, I've been distracted from the shack quite a lot the last few days because Anne's been very busy uh, getting ready for Christmas. Um, what else have we got here? The three, yeah, the three D printing, Colin. Yeah, that looked excellent. Thank you for doing that, for showing that rather. Um, and uh, Peter, I'm glad you managed to get vMix going with uh, with the SRT. Uh, I heard I heard all that going on, and I was, I was about to say earlier, I'll, I'll send Colin, John, and Peter my the, the link into my SRT. I'll give you something else to uh, play with. We will have to see. I, I worked out the other day how it would be possible to have four of us on at the same time with Martin's two SRT receivers. But that's a, that's a bit advanced. Dave, GKK, if you're still watching, well, SRT on the, the ports down would be quite good fun at the moment. Where, whether it's a long-term solution to anything, I don't really know yet. But um, <laughs> Peter, Peter said it would be so much better with vMix. Yeah, you, know, you do know you're outnumbered, uh, Peter. 
on the vmix front and anyway, i'm glad you got the spectrum analyzer working dave and it was good to see some bfy 51s funnily enough i found someone selling uh, uh, BFY 51s on eBay the other day so I bought another slack handful I usually use them for uh, well I used to use them a lot for top band PA or drivers in portable top band equipment one of my favourite transistors as Dave says CQTV articles by the 14th which means I've got to write at least one before then so I'd better get on with that um, I'm glad you're 80, I'm assuming your 80 metre tra- trip went well um Richard, you, you didn't say it didn't, so that's got to be a good thing. And um, the FPGA board and, and with the ADCs looks uh, very complicated, but uh, but quite clever by the sound of it. I think my red pitaya can do about six, six things at the same time, but I haven't uh, used that for a while. And yeah, host names, well, you'd need more of an expert than me because <laughs> I've been struggling... What well, one of the Pi 4s I'm using, I think the SRT one, used to be used for something else, and its host name was uh, something completely different. So um, I think it comes up as Ride Receiver 2, the host name for my SRT receiver, which is um, a bit annoying of it. And because, because the uh, SRT receiver doesn't use the Raspberry Pi operating system, it uses something someone else has written then um, I can't work out how to change it. Hope the 13 SEMS EME goes well. Um, James DQH, glad to see there were no gremlins this week. I mean, they're getting quite violent in your shack, aren't they, if they're pulling plugs out and the rest of it. So I'm glad you sorted that out. Um, Good luck with the software for the HTTP server, uh, Michael. (laughs) I don't care about people being on a diet. Well, Anne's not really on a diet, but she's never blimmin' in these days. Well, this, this Christmas is getting her very, uh, very busy. And, uh, well, the bacon and cheese toasted sandwich sounds is absolutely delightful. It's better than what I had, uh, Michael. Uh, Anne did leave me a, something I could have bunged in the microwave, but by the time I realised it was time to do that, it was too late to do that. Um, yeah, Nginx, I've, I have used that uh, before. And... Um, some years ago now, and on a Raspberry Pi 3, and I do seem to remember I was able to, um, I did some tests with my son who lives in uh, in Barry near Cardiff. Right, the other thing I was going to say, um, I think Dave's, oh, Dave G8ADM seen uh, the stuff about Minitune. Yeah, because I was going to say, Dave, um, I'm getting 16 by 9 from everyone here. Um... Dave, by the way, G8ADM, who's watching, is the is our president of the British Amateur Television Club. So uh, we're still hoping one day to see you on here, uh, Dave. I used to um, I used to be able to hear Dave on two meters when he lived uh, a bit more locally to me. But uh, glad to see you're watching. Uh, Chris is saying he's not technically to say what the issue is, Dave. Blah blah blah. blah. Good. Oh, yeah. Well, that's that's OK. He's in the chat box discussion with uh, Dave ADM. Right. OK. I um, don't think I've got anything interesting to say. So I'm going to whiz it round the uh, the second round, which has gone off the top of the uh, the chat. So I'll just quickly put that back on in case anyone's wondering. But all it is, it's uh, round to you, Peter, GW7BZY, followed by Gareth, G4XAT, followed by Richard, GI4DOH, and then that's it, unless anyone wants to uh, come up before the end. But if, if it finishes early, I'll be able to go and um, say hello to my sister-in-law. So round to you, Peter. GW7BZY and the BATC Thursday evening net, G4FKK, is standing by. Back, GXAT. I will. There we go. Right. Okay. Um, now, last Wednesday, not yesterday, the uh, week before, uh, we got some free tickets to go up to one of the BBC TV stroke radio 
centres. This is the one. Um, uh, let me think. Where is it? Well, it's London. Um, it wasn't far from the Strand Tube. So there was the Guardian. Uh, it was um, an evening with Joe Brand and uh, a band called uh, Police Dog Hogan. It was very pleasant. Um, bit of a change. Not usually my sort of thing, but um, all very professionally organised and very good stuff indeed. Right. Um, I wonder, is there a way of reusing essentially defunct Samsung tablets? I've got a pair of the wretched things that are no longer upgradable to do anything useful in terms of the Android OS that they run. Um, but they'd be really rather useful if I could run eg srt on them or something like that anyway food for thought um i've got a couple of articles that i was going to write i will now expedite that uh, mostly about the rotator and a few other little bits and pieces and um, be very interesting to read about how you did the control of your ham tv thing dave i was just going to run another cable because uh, cables <laughs> an easier solution I suppose in some ways if you've got miles of spare cable um, I suppose I ought to put a post in for the actual dish but these storms they they are getting very wearing I'm afraid I guess we're getting what's called payback in that respect um, glad you're keeping yourself busy there Richard uh, fixing stuff and uh, playing with tech. Uh, I, I think I've reached the point, I don't mind using other people's tech, uh, but I um, I seem to... I, well, it just, I, just the way we, we all solve stuff, it's interesting, isn't it? We all have our, our different ways. And I treated myself to a new pair of side cutters. For years I've been using Rapid Electronics Value side cutters. So I used to buy them at work in, in bulk. one ninety nine a pair. And they, they're really rather good. I mean, I, I've worn a pair out now. Seven years of home construction. Um, wretched things are a fiver each now. That is eight years on. Uh, why don't I buy a decent pair? Well, I did. Um, 30 years ago I paid 25 quid for a pair. And I wore them out in five years. I wasn't impressed by that at all. Supposed to be a lifelong purchase. Anyway, uh, round to you, Richard. GI4DOH from G4XAT. And good evening to everyone else and all our li listeners and watchers. Over. G4XAT with the VATC net. GI4DOH. <laughs> Caught me on that there. I wasn't... I wasn't... Uh, wasn't expecting that. A bit of a, a crisis. Uh, it's the grandson's birthday uh, this week. Uh, my daughter lives in, in Luton, so uh, a present was delivered by uh, Amazon uh, this afternoon. And I got an email with a photograph of it sitting on the doorstep, but uh, the daughter said it wasn't there and she checked with all the, the neighbours. But uh, it turns out they're taking a photograph of it on the doorstep and then hit it in behind flower pots in the, the garden so it's, uh, uh, it's somewhat wet and uh, eaten by slugs and the rest but the, the contents are okay so it's just uh, a WhatsApp uh, exchange going on there. Uh, yes, the uh, the red pataya, I, I know it well, uh, Martin, it's, uh, that's what I have been using and then um, this uh, thing there because the red, red pataya uh, has uh, the price has gone through the, the roof and they the rest uh, that in finding an alternative uh, Papal Denim who did the, the code for the Red Bataya for use with the, the skimmers has done something for the FPGA board and then <laughs> unfortunately they've uh, they would uh, Jeep for FRE just emailed me asking me where I got the ADC board <laughs> they're like M's teeth that somebody had said uh, he would take uh, a group order, but because the ADC chip itself uh, was 
out of stock or not available at the time, and the alternatives were slightly more expensive. I wanted to wait for that, so little subgroup formed. And, and sorry, David, that I, I, I didn't know you weren't aware of of that, and it wasn't for me to be <laughs> to be trying to expand the the other little group uh, as for the the email that I sent you there. Uh, so uh, yeah, I've I've got that. Too. There probably there probably is enough uh, demand if if somebody wants to go to all the effort of putting an order in. I would certainly go for a, a third board. Uh, I think uh, it's all down to how many antennas you can connect at any one time for particular bands and the rest. So it's a bit of ongoing work, and I haven't sussed the the host end thing. I I did. Check on uh, the PC behind me, which is what I use uh, for the, the skimmer with the the other uh, uh, board. Which can I? Ooh. Now it's probably sort of in behind that screen. Uh, it's not enough light really to uh, to see it. There's another almost identical board uh, which. As a slightly different, uh, I think, bandpass uh, filter or uh, low pass filter on it, so it doesn't uh, it doesn't go up as high as uh, six meters. So hopefully, I'll be able to skim six meters with this particular one. I uh, and I, I did I did check. Uh, it still got the the wrong uh, the wrong name uh, when I I run. Advanced IP scanner or angry IP scanner, uh, they, uh, they both give me the same results. So I don't know whether my router, when I first fired up the boards, uh, I hadn't changed the MAC address on it. So it came up with the uh, its actual name based on the MAC address that it read. So I don't know whether the router has uh, has cached that and now recognizes the board for what it is and. Just gives it the same name. I I don't know, so uh, I need to uh, to look at that. <laughs> it's uh, oh, these things all take time, and I don't know what I'm doing. But this is part of the fun. <laughs> it's good to good to muck about these things. Anyway, uh, enough for me. I think I've been summoned to a meeting next Thursday night, so I uh, I feel like I have to. I have to go in and go to that. I, I generally make it known that I don't like going to meetings on, on Thursday nights. Um, again, I'm actually doing a talk at our club next uh, Tuesday night, uh, funny enough, on the, X, uh, the XT2 and the uh, Burkina Faso the expedition uh, under the title How I Survived Burkina Faso, although for the first couple of weeks after coming back with the severe Food poisoning and all the rest. I wasn't sure that I was going to survive, but here I am, still, still going strong. So I'll, uh, I'll see you all in a in a, a fortnight. Uh, I think I should be uh, there then. So I think it's uh, it's round to you, Martin, to tie it up. A uh, G4 FKK with the ATC nets, GI4 DOH. Good night, all. Yeah, very good, uh, Richard. Hopefully, um, let's just get this audio sorted out here. Yeah, very good. Hopefully, um, this will be working. We've just had an absolutely torrential downpour here, and it's obviously uh, covered the front of my LNB with water again. I must get my homemade upside-down gutter reinstalled. So I, I lost everyone's signal. Every everything dropped off the satellite. So I was watching you on the uh, uh, on the um, stream that Dave GKQ is very kindly supplying this evening, and um, so I was having to listen, to watch, sort of half watch you and then half watch the the, uh, <clears throat> the spectrum display. So I came up when you cut the carrier, not when you stopped talking on the streamer. Although actually it was fairly well, it wasn't much uh, much delay. So it looks like my transmit signal is still. Uh, more or less okay, but the receive signal is just uh, just dead. 
Yes, I've got some Lindstrom cutters that um, the BBC Research Department very kindly let me take with me when I left there and went to uh, Radio London, and they've, I've got them here as well. But I, I've been using this pair for many years, Garrett. They're, they're only cheap old... I didn't actually see the ones you were uh, showing because I was struggling with the, uh, the rain, but um, these were dead cheap. But they've lasted for years and years. They're, they're a bit... You probably wouldn't want to do some delicate work with them, but uh, they still work. Oh, the rain's just arrived with Gareth. So, um, yes, th 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 that's pretty much what I do use, uh, Gareth. Uh, I slice the bottle in half and use that as an upside-down gutter. However, it, got, it obviously got blown off. It must have been today as well, because it was there uh, last time I had a look, which was yesterday. So it must have blown off because we had some very high winds here earlier as well. So, uh, as you say, payback time, Gareth. Um, I don't know whether you can do an SRT on a Samsung. Probably if it can run um, whatever the latest version of Larix is. Um, that, that seemed to work quite well on those, those sorts of devices. I'm glad you enjoyed your BBC trip. I've got a picture of me with that same, uh, that same Dalek. It used to live up in uh, Salford, that one. And, and I was just going through some old photos, but I couldn't find it, so I, I won't be able to show that. But I'm glad you enjoyed that. Um, what, else, what else was there here? Oh, your grandson's birthday, Richard. I, I'm not going to ask how old you are. You don't look old enough to have grandchildren to me, Richard, but there you go. And, uh, yes, your red pitaya is looking a lot neater than... Well, mine's... Mine's actually in a box now. It's a uh, multi-mode transceiver. I think I've shown it on here before. Multi-mode transceiver goes from 136 kilohertz up to 6 meters. So um, it was originally going to go up to 4 meters, but I never finished the transverter for the 4 meter. I think the red pitaya goes up to a 50 megs uh, natively, as it were. Um, and that's a good point. I think you've sussed it, Richard. I think um, your route has probably associated that MAC address with, uh, with that um, host name, and I imagine that's what my route has done too, so I'll, uh, I'll give that a boot later. Right, OK, I think that's it for me. Um, I've got a, a tedious story about watchmaking, but I'll save that for another day. Um, Mario, if you're still... Uh, watching, I did send you an email about a, a possible link up, but, and, and I, I did hear back from you, but um, with with no details. But now I've seen you're able to get into Martin's um, SRT receiver. That that might be something we can arrange for maybe the Christmas net or the pre-Christmas net on the 19th of December. Maybe we could uh, have a quick link up with San Diego via the SRT facilities. That'd be good. Um, but I'll, I'll get in touch with you again uh, if you've uh, if you've because I did I did see you testing with Martin earlier, so I thought, oh, that's good. That uh, looks like that might happen, which would be good. So, seventy three is everyone. Thanks for everyone who's been watching this evening. Uh, thanks for everyone who's taken part in the net, and um, I shall look forward to seeing all or some or more of you uh, next Thursday for the next BATC Thursday evening net. So it's G4FKK closing down that aforementioned net. Let me just find a test card with some sound on it. <laughs> and uh, I will see you all in due course. G4FKK now off and clear. Cheerio all. Thanks again. <laughs>